What's going on sixpackabs.com? It's Thomas DeLauer and today I want to give you the breakdown of high intensity interval training and why quite frankly you're probably doing it wrong. So you might know me from creating the science-based six-pack intermittent fasting course and if you don't already know about it you can check it out the link below here in the description. But let's get down to the science of high intensity interval training. See a lot of us think high intensity interval training is just a simple one-to-one -one ratio when you're looking at your exercise like sprinting for one minute and then resting for one minute or doing intense stair climber for one minute and then resting for a minute or maybe 30 seconds on 30 seconds off. The thing is in order to understand high intensity interval training we have to understand the different energy mechanisms within the body anaerobic and aerobic. And I've talked about these in other videos before, but I'm going to give you a brief synopsis here. Anaerobic activity is when you are utilizing carbohydrates as a source of fuel because your body is in such energy demand that it doesn't have time to create energy from oxygen that you breathe. For example, if you take a breath, your body takes that oxygen and converts it into energy. But if you are completely tapped out, like you're sprinting, you cannot get oxygen fast enough to create energy. So your body has no choice but to start using carbohydrates. That's anaerobic activity. Aerobic activity is with oxygen. But what does that have to do with high intensity interval training? Well, high intensity interval training is designed to tap in to the anaerobic system. You see, when you're lifting weights, the energy demand is so high, so fast, that you have to utilize carbohydrates. You don't use oxygen. You're in an anaerobic mode. In essence, you are in a high intensity interval state. You're just lifting and then not lifting, lifting, and then not lifting. That's essentially an interval. So when it comes down to our cardio with high intensity interval training, the whole idea is to tap into our anaerobic energy system, which means we want to elicit the same response metabolically within our body that we would be eliciting when we're weight training, except we're doing it with cardio. So what that means is you have to be going at a full on sprint or really pushing your maximum effort in order to truly be utilizing it properly. Here's the thing. You cannot go 100% all out for a solid minute. Very seldom can someone do that. So a true high intensity interval is going to be going for about 20 to 30 seconds at all out maximum intensity. In fact, when I'm going 100%, I can only last for about 15 seconds before I fall flat on my face. You really want to be pushing it all the way. Now your recovery, your recovery should take as long as it needs to for you to be able to go 100% again. Here's the thing with high intensity interval training. It's not about the time that you're training. It's about how much of a metabolic load you're putting on your body during your actual intensity. So for example, what I mean by that is you want to be able to be putting out the maximum effort in the shortest amount of time. And it doesn't matter how long it takes for you to recover as long as the next time around that you're doing that, you're able to go 100% again. Let me put it this way. If you go 100% and then you go ahead and you only rest for 30 seconds, you only recovered halfway. So you can't possibly go 100% the next interval. You might go 70 and then you're gonna rest again and maybe you don't rest long enough again. That next interval you go 50. It's not about perception, it's actuality, okay? Perception would allow us to believe that because we're winded and because we're exhausted that we're tapped out to the max. It's about reality, it's about data, it's about facts. We need to be able to go 100% and then recover. 100% and then recover. And that's all there is to it because high intensity interval training is about the metabolic load and the hormonal change that happens to your body when you do it. It's not about how long you're in the gym or how long you're doing cardio or resting. So there you have it, sixpackabs.com. I just blew your mind when it comes down to high intensity interval training, which quite honestly is an important part of the science-based six-pack program. So if you haven't already, check it out down below. And as always, keep it locked in here and I will see you in the next video.